Creative Video Manager. Here's my movie. I'm going to click Edit on my movie. We can then see our video. And I'm going to click into this tab, Annotations. So under Annotations, it starts playing your video. We can see at the top, we've got our How To video. At the bottom, we've got our Star Wars video. Now let's whiz that back to the start. So you're probably going to be doing this at the end of your video. This is my entire video, as it turns out today. Um, but here I'm going to add in a new annotation. And I'm going to add a spotlight. So as I click Spotlight, I immediately get this little box here. So I'm going to place this around the area that I want the user to be able to click on. And this is going to be flashed up to the user. This is a clickable area, and it's going to send it through to somewhere else. Um, so it's going to start at 0, 0, 0, 0 seconds, and it tells you how far you want it to go through. So I know my video is 10 seconds. I'm going to change that to 10. I'm going to add in this is our how to video. Just naming it helps you find it later on when it's when you want to edit it. And I'm going to make that a link. And I'm going to link that to a playlist. Now it doesn't give you annoyingly a, a list of the options of your playlist, but let's go and find under our playlists our how to tutorials, which are here. So if I click in there, I can then just take this from the address bar, copy and paste that into here. I always like ticking it to open and link in a new window so if the user wants to carry on watching the end of your video they can watch the end of yours. Obviously you can link to anything here so you can link to somebody else's video, somebody else's channel um, but I'm going to add into my own channel. So you don't actually press save anywhere. If you want to add in a new one you just go add new annotation. So let's go spotlight again and let's do the Star Wars video at the bottom. So let's drag in that rectangle across there. Let's call it Star Wars. And again, we're going to change the end to be 10 seconds. We're going to link it. This time I'm going to show you how you can just paste in a playlist and it immediately knows. So we've got our playlist here. Get that address. Copy it there. And as you can see, it immediately it, YouTube just knows that's a playlist. Tick open link in your window, that's that one done. And then the final one's our subscribe button. So let's add in another spotlight. Let's resize the clickable area. So around that subscribe button, let's name it subscribe. Let's change the end link to 10 seconds. So when I click link here, in the option I've got video playlist channel subscribe. Now this is expecting the your YouTube username or your YouTube channel name. So my YouTube hasn't got enough subscribers yet, so it doesn't have its own name. If I go back to my channel, this bit at the end is your channel uh, subscription user ID. So if I drop that in there, and that's it. So now we've got our three annotations here, all starting at zero seconds. We've got a Star Wars one, a how-to one subscribe one you can click on them and it highlights them there and simply just apply changes and that's made it to the video so now if I go and let it play through immediately you see you can click on these images here so let's just have a practice and see if that works that one goes through to our how-to area that one goes through to our subscribe area and that one goes through to our Star Wars playlist area well thank you and uh Subscribe and look out for more how-to videos. Bye.